session 8 swift openstack object storage agenda of the session is overview of swift object storage managing permissions on a container in object storage using curl command curl tool for working with swift and managing expiring objects monitoring swift cluster swift is the project which is used by oracle cloud infrastructure oci also for object storage overview of swift object storage openstack swift is highly available distributed eventually evenly eventually consistent object storage object software defined storage sds system in contrast to file storage object storage works with objects that contain data and metadata both like virtual machines like directories like files like zip files anything which it can it can store anything generally movies images it can have anything generally object storage provide access through an api objects are available via urls and http or https both protocols object storage can distribute requests across a number of storage hosts all objects are accessible in one single namespace and object storage systems are usually highly scalable you can keep on adding the storage keep on adding creating the pool and the pool will be available for uh, service software as a service or infrastructure as a service for your customers for your tenants logically swift consists of three levels accounts containers and objects account in swift corresponds to the project or tenant in other openstack services swift users are primarily people who have a username and password the user corresponds to account in other openstack services and objects are actually that are stored in containers that belong to accounts you can imagine an account as a file system with a container as the directory and object as a file or content inside that directory the logical objects in swift so the, this is the logical figure where, that explain the concept that on the top level we have account inside that we create containers in aws we call them as buckets in oci oracle cloud infrastructure also we call them as bucket and in open shift open sorry open stack we call them as containers so we create containers inside the containers we put objects so this is one container this is another container so we create containers inside container we upload objects object path and object storage you can identify each object by its path and that will be account name slash container name slash object name by default the data stored in swift will be replicated three times that is why we need at least three machines three computers to create a proper object storage system and that is the reason we have uh, three machines in our cloud the main services of swift are object account and container services you can start working with containers from command line with the swift stat command when you try this command swift stat it will show you the summary of containers and object swift stat and when i try let me show you this command after uh, one more command i'll show you both the commands swift stat will show you how many containers you have how many objects you have uh, what are the size stored uh, and uh, the policies about that container and the object let's understand uh, working with objects as a part of the upload command you will need to define a container first a container will be created automatically if point to a non existing container for example swift upload the skillpedia demo openrc/etc host so these two will be uploaded 
on this container if you check on the object storage uh, cloud you will see that and similarly if you want to try this command swift stat grab containers you will see the containers are created swift stat and verify that this file for example this file is uploaded swift upload the skillpedia demo open rc etc host and both these files are like this is a directory this uh, i mean this is a file this is another file both files are uploaded in the container the skillpedia and you will see them and i'm going to demonstrate the same thing so here you can see on my system i just executed the command swift stat this is my account on cloud openstack cloud this is my account my i have one container one object and then the byte size then i uploaded this swift upload the skillpedia demo openrc.sh etc host and then if i try the same thing demo stat you will see the status changed after this upload so i have two containers now three objects now and these many bytes and these are the policies about this horizon and the objects you can download upload the containers this is the object storage anything can be uploaded here so this is object store click on containers and this is the container which was created and this is the hello world this is the skillpedia container and you see the file and etc directory complete directory along with the folder is created here uploaded here similarly if you want to create a container you can click create container let's say a new container oracle container so you decide the policy if you have a, if it is public you can create public if it is not public you can click on pre private this is generally this is the same thing in everywhere we have the same concept so container is created oracle container if you want to upload something here you can use upload and choose the file and you can upload here for example i want to upload this getting started with git upload the file and it's uploaded now if i try the same thing on the command line you will see the objects are changed i have more object now three container three object earlier two containers and three objects so you can see that now contents are being available contents are being uploaded this is quite easy to manage in cloud download it view details add it or copy view details you will see the details of the same thing edit it or copy it or delete it edit means you can't change the name you, it will replace that if you delete it you can delete it if you want to download it you click on download you can download the container content so if you want to search you can search from here so this is uh, the object storage how it is implemented behind the screen is very interesting so this is what we have just now studied we have seen the demonstration of uploading the files in object storage and listing the containers with swift list command you can list the containers and the objects within the containers like swift list the skillpedia it will show you the contents of the skillpedia uh, this is the uh, web interface i have just shown you this you have seen the demonstration so you can see the container the skillpedia we also created the same thing was visible uh, in the demo when i just uploaded this from my site managing permissions on containers in object storage users can set up access control list that is acls at the container level and define the read and write access to successfully write a container in addition to write access a user must also have access to the container here's an example of how to set up a read access control list for users from a demo project here specifically the user 8 from project 1 so swift post the skillpedia the permission is write the project is demo and the project 1 and user 8 so we are seeing user 8 from project 1 has been given read permission on this so this is how it is work so user from a demo project specifically user 8 from project 1 can upload have read permission on this and you check the status with stat command swift post working with the access control is similar 
it is you are giving right permission switch for Skillpedia with right permission and you will see the permissions also switch uh, with command swift stat and the container name using curl command for working with swift a very common method of working with object storage is by using curl command line tool curl request usually include an http verb such as get or put get means pulling the information put means uploading the content authentication information storage url data and metadata to get authentication information and storage url you can use swift auth command so swift auth will give you this url object storage url is this and the token is this so you will get the details once you have these details you export them and then you use them to put the content through curl on the bucket as an example curl hyphen x put means upload with header and the token which was grabbed from that command and the url of your token with container where the content will be placed will be created monitoring swift cluster for swift cluster monitoring of account container and object servers special recon server middleware and swift recon tool are used for this you need to do additional configuration of the middleware server you should change the existing pipeline option in the this configuration file which i will discuss definitely in the next lab assignment is how we configure swift object storage that's going to be the next topic in the lab assignment and add the new pipeline filter rcon recon section in three configuration files this is an example of changes to be made in object server.com file so this is pipeline how you configure pipeline recon object server and filter you specify how you specify the filter this is the syntax changes on the default configuration is the example of changes into uh, container server.com file so very tricky uh, quite simple bind address bind port user swift directory and device and mount check the default section so same thing this is 51 this is first machine this is second machine and this is the example of account server this is first machine this is second machine conceptually a port number is different 6201 6202 so account server has a different port number container server has a different port number because the services are different services they interact with each other in swift object storage handling cache after that you need to check whether the cache directory exists and has the right permissions you can use ls command hyphen ld where cache swift and you you will see this permission this should be the permissions for honor you should have all permission for but no permission for anybody else the group or others for tracking asynchronous spending on your object servers you need to add a job in cron to run the swift recon cron script which is cron tab hyphen e and that is added your cron jab and you specify the schedule every five minute you want to run it user bin swift recon cron and on this etc swift object server dot con file configuration file means that actually what you are doing is you are executing this command command is swift binary file is this and configuration file is this so you are running this cron job using swift along with the binary file and the configuration file to supply to that binary executable now you can try to obtain the cluster load average state swift recon hyphen l so that will give you reconsign this this on two host and will put the load and balance the load it will take care of the load balancing on its own disk user stats you can use swift recon hyphen d that will give you the disk user statistics with hyphen d option swift recon hyphen d and that will give the status disk uses the space uses lowest uses highest uses average uses what all disk you have 
and how much space is used from those disk replication stats and the last example we allow you will allow you to obtain the replication statistics also with hyphen r when you use hyphen r you will get the replication status on your disk because it is as i said it is distributed disk where your objects and containers are stored test your learning is up to you i leave it to you this uh, quiz that's all from my side thank you very much